Like that's why it's called life calling and career clinic. So um in the last episode we discussed um we were discussing the laws like we used to and then the law we talked about was the law of youth deployment and the law states that to become significant in life you must discover develop and deploy your gift to bless your world so before um you the, or there's a need actually for you to discover your gift and then after discovery you develop it and in the process of developing because you keep developing your gift all right so in the process of developing you deploy your gift all right so this is actually necessary for you to fulfill your calling in life so in this episode We'll be talking um, about um, the law of money. Law of money. Law so, of money. can you tell us? Yes, yeah, so um, the law of money states that the more real, which is the intangible money, it's not cash that you have, the more you develop the capacity to confront and solve all the challenges that come your way in life. So, the more you develop, um, you develop. Um, more money, the more you get more money, and the real money we are talking about here is intangible money. So we're discussing it like in proper today. So with me as usual in the studio, we have Mr. Ayemi Boba Bidele. All right. So let me rephrase that. Uh, some people will call it the more, the more the intangible money you have, the easier it is to solve problems. Yeah. But let me also put it this way: the more intangible money you have, the higher the chance of attracting tangible. You understand? Now, let's first of all set the. What do you think is intangible money? Intangible money, to me, it's um, like. Okay, for instance, let, let, let me start from here. Money is actually a medium of exchange. So anything you can use to exchange for something, I think, is money. And um, I think friendship, that like relationship, is a means of money. Because somehow, in place of um, employment, for somebody to get. And employment in some places they get referrals. Yes. Yes. So I think that's um, a medium of exchange. That's um, part of money, and also um, your ability to solve problems. That's your competence is part of money. So all of these things, even your character. Yeah. So so so, what we're trying to do at this program now is to talk about the intangible money. Now I will use uh, alliteration starting with C so that our viewer can remember. Now, so we have credibility, we have character, we have competence, we have companion, and we have cash. Now, the highest of these is opinion of some people, is credibility, credibility, followed by relationship, companion, followed by character, followed by competence. The lowest is cash. And cash is the only one that stands you. So each time I think about this, I ask people that. So do you think, how wise do you think we are as a people? If the lowest of the money, what focus are you? What focus are you? Like on, how wise are we? Like someone said that someone would be foolish for wisdom to have money, so everybody cannot be wise. Now, let's look at it again. Credibility, yeah. consistency of result. Character, consistency of relationship, so the um, companion, yeah, companion, consistency of relationship, character, consistency of conduct, competence, consistency of performance, and all these four are intangible money and they are capable of attracting cash. So let's take them one by one. Credibility. Consistency of result. If someone is, if someone wants to start a business, and you can show a prototype of what you have created, mm -hmm. and you're telling someone, look, see the product I've created. I need money to be able to produce more of this. Yes, yeah. This is the credibility. This is the result. This result will give you the comfort to want to give me that business. Mm -hmm. So because sometimes you know. Some people will come around when they are talking about entrepreneurship and they tell people that you don't need money, you don't need money, money is not the first thing. And someone will be looking at them, what are you saying? I don't get how do you do business without money? But that person is reality, the only money he's thinking of is cash. So because he's thinking only of cash, he doesn't even know, you know, this means that 
there are a lot of people that are very rich and they don't know it. Yeah, yeah. So riches is more important than cash. Some people call what I just said now riches. Some will even call it wealth. Mm -hmm. And that is more important than money, which is cash they are looking at. But I'm looking at money in totality as a medium of exchange. Mm -hmm. So um, I need to do a business. I'm trying to paint a picture of how this type of money can help me to be able to get what I want. I need to do a business. Okay, for example, when I left banking and I was to set up a business, the first office I used for one year was used free of charge. And I was using a type of money called relationship. A friend of mine rented an office in Sulere, and of course he was not really there to use it the way he planned. And I ended up using it. So I was there for free. For free because of relationship. So, with that friendship, I have access to it. So, that means some people want to start business, they actually have access to people who if they know what they want to do, they can actually give them. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Now, companion. Sorry, that's companion. Yeah. Character. There's some people who want to start a business. If you go to people that know your character, that they can trust your word, they know your word is your word, they can say, yes, that is it. That even if there are issues, they can trust what you are saying has happened. They will give you cash. So I can attract cash based on character. Because consistency of conduct. So people trust my words. I can attract cash based on competence. Anybody working as an employee in any organization, was interviewed and the interviewer deemed him or her competent to hire her. If the interviewer did not deem him or her competent, he won't be hired. So he's earning cash at the end of the month, but he's exchanging that for his competence. Now, what do people wake up to say they are looking for? Cash. Yeah. Unfortunately, Many are so rich, you know, someone said something, said, some people are so poor, all they have is cash. Did you hear that? Some people are so poor, all they have is cash. They are so poor, all they have is cash. So, some people who we term as rich, what they have, they are actually poor, because all they have is cash. Some people are so poor, that if you remove the cash from them, they can't, they can't even create those cash. They can't create it. Some of them are just opportunists. Maybe they were politicians. They supported some. They got the they got, No, they can't even go to the and see the to even. Some of inherit. So they can't create that thing. If you leave them, if you take that million of people, if you take all the cash they have away, give them another, another one, two, three years, they can make that money. Those are the rich people. They are rich in credibility. They are rich in competence. They are rich in character. They are rich in relationship. And they will make that money again because they are rich. Now, so what should be our focus as human? It should be the pursuit of these riches or this intangible money. But unfortunately, what do we cost? Cash. So, society, you know, there's something about our society and when you see people behaving in a particular way, the environment creates their experience, the experience creates their knowledge, their knowledge creates their belief system, their business creates the values, the values affect the choices and choices affect their actions. So when you see them behaving in a particular way, something led to it. And what led to it? They started from somewhere. Where was that? Environment. So in Nigeria, for example, they say cash is king. So, people will take decision only on cash. I say, when I talk to people, I, sometimes I don't know how to drive this in. I say, how to make people realize that people that run after cash really get rich. That 
if your objective is to make money, they are, I'm talking about people that are really, really wealthy, but people that have created a lot of value in the world. For example, if you have Bill Gates, or have Warren Buffett, they didn't set out to be below the league richest man in the world, the uh, investors. That's not their objective. They just have a vision to create solutions for mankind. They just have an idea of what they can do to solve it. So that was the major driving force. And that's telling you something like that. If individual can just concentrate on intangible money, I tell you, it becomes easier to attract tangible money. So but for one reason or the other, the environment says cash is king. So someone, if someone does not have cash, it's like the whole world is come crumbling. He doesn't even, he can't even appreciate the skill he has and what he can do with it because of lack of confidence. Now, before I continue, what would you say? How do you, in the light of this, how would you describe the way our society is and the way we do it? In the light of this. Everybody wants to get money. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to be rich. And I, I think that um, many persons, they don't have, people who pursue cash, they really don't have um, a problem that they are going to solve. Because if you have um, people who solve problems, they have projects that they are doing, that they are pursuing, they, have, um, they are trying to empower young people, they are trying to get people out of the street and get them into school. So they have a big project and then they seek sponsors. Yeah. So that way they will attract people to invest into what they are doing. So majorly the young people, they want to get rich because the picture of rich that we get in our country, it's, um, it's really bleak. Many people would do little for more. Like they do not, the what they do is not equating the kind of money that they get. So everybody wants to get rich quick. Everybody wants to enjoy life. Everybody wants to... Which know. is not bad in itself. Only that the way we go about it is big... Yes, but because you want to get rich quick. So you want to do anything. You say, young people say, I will do anything for money. They can go you know, it, it, every it, it, length. People do, you know, dirty games. Sacrifice their girlfriend. <laughs> to act for As money. In people will sacrifice someone you claim you love. You sacrifice their girlfriend for ritual killing. You know, each time I hear that, I just begin to ask myself that. If only our society, you know, which is the challenge of value in our society. If only our society can begin to which is your idea of life and character? If you can begin to see how we have faced it, mm -hmm. and the need for because if you don't correct this ill sincerely, it will get worse. It will get worse because people are not. They, there is no other paradigm in their minds. There is no other. It's like this is the only way out, mm -hmm. and the politicians are not helping matter. So what I mean is like, and that's, these are also what led to Yahoo Yahoo. Because you sit down and then you defraud someone else's money to be able to spend for yourself. This is why someone will see money on the road and go and give testimony. No, they will go and give testimony. You know, I've had an argument with someone before. I said, he said, but it's God that provides it. Eh? Oh, will be there crying for that money. Oh, oh, so God provided the money of someone for you and I asked, flip it. You are going to buy something. You were holding the money. The money fell. When you got to where you you knew you took that money was in your hand when you left the house. So you definitely knew it fell off your hand on your way. You now got to where you want to buy something. And you square you can't find the money. And you now track back, no if you were this thing dropped definitely on the way. And then he didn't find it. And the person that Vicky is saying it was God provision. <laughs> it's God, God provision. You need to ask yourself that. Where have you been? I said, where, where did you, how come it didn't occur to you that this money dropped for someone's pocket? The person that picked it pretend is just smart. Ah, uh, I'm smart. Oh, he's smart. Yes, now. So to pick to some... somebody's item now. So he seems to have been smart. Yes, that's what they say. Smart or still? <laughs> you are still in there, you are still in there, you are still So somebody else will pass that place and not pick the money. So the real issue is that there is a big challenge with our value system. So what we should be 
interested in what what should be and what I've discovered if your pursuit is credibility. So that means number one thing you must do as an individual is build credibility. You need money, what? Show me your evidence of the fact that you are credible, that this is what you have been able to build and develop. Show. Show me your relationship. As someone said, the quality of your relationship determines the size of the problem. Mm -hmm. The quality of your relationship. No, like your net, your net work determines your network. And there's this research, I don't know, I, I can't get the extra figure, but let me try to paint the picture. He said, if you are, if you are among a circle of friends, mm -hmm. five of you, you're always together, you friends, you're, I mean, together, you know some guys, you go and drink, party, but you're friends, there. Yeah. that none of those people, if you take the average of the spend of the end of all of them, none of them can rise above a particular fraction of that average mm -hmm. of all of them that and he said because because since every time they discuss together there is a quality of thinking among them mm -hmm. that make these people be attracted to each other in the first place mm -hmm. and that that quality of thinking plays a restriction and that's the way we are as human beings there is no mountain in life every man ignorance is his mountain that's the position of someone. He said, there's no mountain in life. Every man ignorance is mountain. And he's basically saying that what you have, what you possess, what, who you are, and where you are in life is a function of what you know and what you don't know. And he's trying to say that what you know and what you don't know is a function of also relationship you have built over time. And it's something about the fact that if you want to grow your income, someone will say, change your network. Mm -hmm. If you begin to relate with people who think at a high level, initially it might be tough for you because you can't uh, match. But over time, because you are among the cycle, in fact, you even stand a chance of them giving you something to that you can do that will be able to also help you to end something reasonable because they don't know what you can do or you will be forced to also want to acquire the kind of skills they have that will help you to be able to also attract the kind of client they have the kind of relationship they because sincerely they are, if you are, for example if you are an entrepreneur like you said about getting a job if you are an entrepreneur sincerely sometimes also the kind of job you are able to get is actually because there are places that they will need your services and the issue will be discussed and someone will mention you yeah, yeah. because of the relationship you have with them. So, so as we as we strive to do have a product, have a service, have something that shows that you can be you are credible, you are you are dependable, you are reliable, you can do this thing, also have relationships. So um, I have a, you know when you're talking about credibility, mm -hmm. and then you took um, an entrepreneur as a case study. Mm -hmm. So credibility is the consistency of the dog, right? Mm -hmm. So um, you want to make your first um, prototype, mm -hmm. but it involves money. Depending on the product, it cash. It involves cash here, yeah. depending on the um, product that you're considering. And then the entrepreneur does not have that. Cash. Yes, to be able to do that prototype. There's another that money can be. What was that? Relationship. <laughs> so there's practically you nothing you can relationship do. Relationship and character. Hmm. Companion and character. So he can go to a friend who trusts him that what he said he wants to do, he has been able to paint a picture that shows he can do it. What if he does it? Okay, please, let, let's say, for instance, um, okay. I come to you and mm -hmm. I want to do this, I want mm -hmm. to do this, and it will cost me this. I don't have the money to actually do the prototype. So that I can take it to potential investors to invest in it. So, um, this is, I have done the research, and there's a problem that um, it will work 75%. So, if person gives me money, I do it. But then somehow, it crashed. What crash? The, the product. Like, 
it didn't come to light. You, you're not able to, probably something went wrong and it's going to be. So that has actually. That is the risk of venture capitalists. The people that invest are called venture capitalists. You are investing in a startup, someone that is just starting is, is new, but you believe in his dream. Of course, the risk you are taking also. But the person already have a character. You know that he did this thing. Only that we thought it would turn out like this, it didn't turn out like this. For me, for that investor, he can actually still invest to see if that error can be corrected to eventually bring it up. Because sincerely, that's what you said is a possibility. But for a very serious investor who see who can identify as a potential from afar, it's not likely he will drop just because of that. It's not likely he will drop. He will likely consider why don't we because we've started already, only that we thought this is what we need. Only now we're discovering that we are needing more. Which is, you know, business generally. The market sometimes will tell you what you need to do. You might think this is the you have done the research and it, like this is the best, but the market tells you no, no, this is not what we need. And you might not realize that until you hit the market. Mm -hmm. So in my so if a very veteran investor, I will call it, they would know that, that that's a possibility. And probably would have even added value to that process to prevent that from happening or to minimize the impact of that in the first place. So character is called social capital. Social capital. Social capital. There are some businesses in Nigeria, they, they, they do clean lending. As when they lend to them, they, they just sign documents. They don't no collateral. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because over the years, they can trust their world. They have a system, they have a structure to have soft shock and be able to mitigate any lighting issues. And they do clean lending. Clean lending. Because they build it. Not just the they have the character. Then competence. Now, I've said this on this program before. The learning to wealth trajectory. I learn and acquire skill. With skill, I can build competence. With competence, I can solve problems. So competence now helps me solve problems. When I solve problems, I create value. When I create value, I attract wealth. So the idea here is, what should be our pursuit as human? Credibility. What should be our pursuit as human? Character. What should be our pursuit as human? Competence. What should be our pursuit as human? Companion. Much, much more than cash. And that if we allow ourselves to be carried away by cash, and cash become the pursuit. If, look at this. Someone said something. He said, a man that lacks credibility, a man that lacks companion, a man that lacks character, a man that lacks competence with loads of cash is a criminal. <laughs> Is a criminal. And the idea is, how do you get it? Even if you are yeah, if, how even you if you are even if you inherit it. It's true relationship. Yeah, it's true. Even if you win the lottery, you have demonstrated some level of confidence. <laughs> you can you can you do not have it. You have been able to So if there's nothing we can trace it to <laughs> Oh, oh, criminal. <laughs> oh, I mean, he, he, I, and the day I heard that, I said, just think of it that really. Because yeah. for people to get money, actually, one of those four things must play. And, and let me ask you a question Who in our society do you think possess that characteristics? No, no credibility, no character, no competence, <laughs> no, no companion, but no load of cash. Hey, all those things. Either you are. An arm robber. No, arm robbery, you would show some level of skill. Yeah, we are everything you have to this game. Yeah, we are. No. No. Uh, I don't know. no. no. Have politicians. Politicians. You, you, 
Nothing. It's not the only thing. But no, no, don't say it's not the only thing because they have. Wait. You just got an appointment. Some of them relationships. You are a square. You are a square peg in a round hole. You got an appointment. You want a, a political office. Hey, mm -hmm. for them to win it. Uh, they have to. <laughs> Develop a product and service to solve a problem. So we won't say a person that gets a political office is it, it's not a relationship. Sometimes it's because it's from a political part of the country. It's not because yeah, he knows the best. They nominate him to a political part of the country and they got it. But the idea basically is that if we get, now, even for those that win lottery, this research has shown that most of them in two years, some three years. They've won thousands, probably millions of dollars for their bankrupt again. Why are they bankrupt again? You know, don't focus on the profit. The process is critical. If a man did not learn the process and have access to the profit, what happens? It becomes very difficult to retain, to sustain, and keep the profit. It becomes very, very difficult to retain and sustain and keep the profit. Why? Because that's what I said the other time. You know, some, some people said something that if you take all Nigerians, move them into America, mm -hmm. and move all Americans mm -hmm. into Nigeria, that in 10 years, America will become Nigeria, <laughs> or they lost the and Nigeria will become America in terms of infrastructure, in terms of the environment, the development, just by the people. Mm -hmm. That tells you it's not America that make America. That's it's true. the people, the quality of people. The quality of people. And if there's one thing that politicians have not done right, is to degrade the quality of people in Nigeria. I'm and to ensure that the people are not learning and not educated so that they You'll don't be able to think. challenge them. You'll they can't challenge think. them. So every, because and whoever talks about politicians this eh, must be a very wicked person. They understand the power of the master hierarchy of need. That immediately you ensure that people become a poverty, they won't be able to think of any other thing again. The only thing they can think about is money. So they survive. And when you kill them, they will survive. They cannot think of They can't even challenge. As long as you give them money to survive, that's it. Any question before we close? That's um, really no question, we lost a lot to chew from um, today's uh, session. We discussed them um, what money is. Money is not cash alone. Cash is just one of the forms of money. We talked about the lowest, lowest form. form of money. And we talked about them credibility, we talked about them character, companionship, we talked about them competence. These four. If you have them, they will ultimately attract them. Be you um, a career person or an entrepreneur, you'll be able to attract the cash that you need. Once you build um, on these things, all right, so they are very critical and very important that you stop chasing the tangible money that you have, which is cash, and start chasing after the intangible money. By that, you'll be able to solve um, problems that you think, problems around them in society, and problems that um, you see that can actually cause a limitation to people around you or the world at large. Thank you very much for listening to this episode of Life with Interactivity. It will come your way again next time. See you next week and bye for now.